Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to multiply a mixed number by a whole number. Let's jump into our example where we have 5 and 5 sixths times 3. Now the first thing that we want to do, we want to convert our mixed number to an improper fraction and then write our whole number as an improper fraction. Let's start with the mixed number and we start at the bottom and work our way up. So we multiply and then add. So we do our denominator times the whole number. So six times five, which is 30 plus the numerator of five. So 30 plus five is 35. That's the numerator of our improper fraction. We keep the denominator of six the same. So we get 35 over six. Now that improper fraction is equivalent to the mixed number. We just converted it to an improper fraction. So we're not changing the value of the problem at all. Now we need to write our three as a fraction. So put it into fractional form. And all we need to do to put a whole number in fractional form is put it over one. We want an improper fraction and the whole number to be in fractional form. So all we have is a top and a bottom. That way we can multiply straight across. So once we're at this point, we can multiply straight across. So numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. Let's start with the numerators. So 35 times three, 35 times three gives us 100. Five. As far as our denominators, we have six times one, which is six. So our answer as an improper fraction is 105 sixths or 105 over six. Now let's convert that to a mixed number. And we do that by dividing our numerator by the denominator. So 105 divided by six. I'm going to come to the side here to work through that. So we have 105 divided by six. The first thing we need to do, we need to find out how many whole groups of six are in 105. That's going to be the whole number part of our mixed number. So let's start with 10 divided by six. How many whole groups of six out of 10? Well, one, one times six is six. Subtract, 10 minus six is four. Bring down our five. So we have 45 divided by six now. How many whole groups of six out of 45? Well, that's going to be seven. That gets us to 42. So seven times six is 42. Subtract, and we get a remainder of three. So we do not hit 105 exactly. We have something left over, that remainder three. So 17 whole groups of six out of 105. That's going to be our whole number portion of the mixed number. Now we had a remainder of three. That's going to be the numerator of the fractional part of our mixed number. And then we keep our denominator of six the same. So we get 17 and 3 sixths. Always check to see if you can simplify the fractional part of a mixed number. And in this case, we can. We have a common factor of three between three and six. So let's divide both of these by three in order to simplify. And we get 17, three divided by three is one, and then six divided by three is two. So we get 17 and a half for our final simplified answer. So there you have it. There's how to multiply a mixed number by a whole number. Convert everything to improper fractions. That way we can multiply straight across numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. And we can simplify from there if necessary. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.